Mm, why not? Mm -hmm. However, with respect to ethics, deception and, or unethical business is not allowed in today's Oh, deception or unethical business is not allowed in today's world of business. Firms will not be able to survive if they deceive consumers with low-quality products and other immoral business operations. Hey, we're back to the thing where even if you have a trashy, if you have a low-quality product but really good marketing, it might go well, but it might go really, really, really bad. Deception used to be allowed? I'm pretty sure, yes. I know we're reading on zero sum game and deception is business, which isn't allowed anymore, so now businesses have to be ethical, well, to some degree at least. Um, and without deception. Census history. <laughs> and this is because in business, contrary to war, there's a third party which serves as an umpire whether it be consumers or the government, while there is no such referee in the game of war. A great number of studies that apply military strategies to the modern business environment make the mistake of neglecting these fundamental differences between war and business. Chevy? What's a Chevy? It sounds like food. <coughs> Chevy? Oh, it's a car. <laughs> How is that Justin going? Yep, still a bomb. Yep. Yep. <laughs> hey. Um, okay. Since it's a bit, uh, where were we? The complete understanding of these fundamental differences. Since it's advice, for military battles can be a great resource for current so loud for current day business leaders especially with respect to his his orientation toward cost reduction complete victory and grand strategy what do you mean who won what was the bet? I have absolutely no idea. You guys keep saying it today, and I still have no idea what the bet actually is. <laughs> What's OHM? <laughs> oh, wait, well, <laughs> please get out of here. <laughs> what? Fuji said if I can get marry him, he's gonna give me 10 subs. Well, that's a lovely wedding gift. Only freaking 10 subs for a wedding.
Why would you propose on day one? I know Koreans could be aggressive, but that's, that's a bit over the top aggressive. <laughs> No way, bro. Nice to meet you. Exclamation mark. Because he's sixty, he's gonna die soon. Wow. 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 Okay. He proposed that we have to you have to give ten subs. I mean, well, that you guys are weird. <laughs> Why are you even bit on this? <laughs> Puji, you're weird, okay? <laughs> Thanks for the wedding gift. Much appreciated. <laughs> I just accepted, don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> someone from Tinder? <laughs> no, he's someone from a freaking park. A random dude from the park. <laughs> They're like, Fuji's gonna love to do some doing homework. He's like, and at some point, Fuji's like, no, the old history guy is my favorite part now. <laughs> I ran a guy approached me. He asked, was like, asked me, okay, where I wa where was from, blah, 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 standard stuff. And I was so, he, he came from the direction I was heading towards. And I just, at some point, just kind of kept walking, started walking a bit. He just kind of walked with me. So we actually turned to 180 degree and he was walking with me, but. <laughs> He walked with me for like half an hour, <laughs> and, then, and then he was like, "Would you want to have like coffee or some food?" And I was like, "No, I'm meeting a friend for dinner," <laughs> which was a lie because I don't. I, I never told him I was streaming because I thought I didn't think he was gonna stick around for half an hour. I thought he'd be like, you know, talk for a bit and leave, like normal people would leave these. But so I didn't say I was streaming. I just kind of had the camera like next to me. Um, but because I noticed he wasn't leaving, and it was it was kind of too late to tell him I was streaming because I didn't tell him to start. <laughs> So he just thought I was doing something for YouTube or something. <laughs> I lied to my fiance, yes. <laughs> and he went my number. Well, actually, I got his business card. <laughs> I was just talking about, like, I don't know, history the whole time, so, yeah. But I, I didn't look at chat for like half an hour. And I even went, to, I told him I, had, I wanted to go to a convenience store, hoping he would just say bye before that. But he actually joined me to the convenience store. And then I had to walk to the stupid train station because I was pretending like I was gonna go back home to meet a friend for dinner. <laughs> And at half an hour, I wasn't looking at my phone because I couldn't tell him I was streaming anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. <laughs> 